Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Edgardo Tenreira. I'm the CEO of Baton Rouge General. And uh, I'm here uh, to welcome Governor Edwards and uh, Dr. Phillips and Dr. Cantor from the Louisiana Department of Health because we are in vaccination mode both for the flu and COVID boosters. Uh, and of course, if you have not gotten your actual COVID vaccine, we're here for you too. Uh, the objective is to get as many of us vaccinated as quickly as we can. I'm happy to report that the general, we moved from about 35% vaccinated for COVID to about 77% vaccinated in about a, a month or so. So very happy with that goal. And uh, I hope and wish that the general community also gets to those levels of vaccination so we can get to some level of herd immunity. Um, what better way to kick things off than uh, with our state health leaders? And also, by the way, we have Dr. Phillips' son, Langston, who's here. There you go. Brave, brave uh, young man who's going to get his flu shot, too. So Governor Edwards. Edgardo, thank you. And I want to thank all the people at Baton Rouge General Mid-City uh, for, again, uh, making this facility available uh, for us today as we do something that I think is very important. And we are joined by Secretary uh, Dr. Courtney Phillips of the Louisiana Department of Health and her son Langston, but also by Dr. Joe Canner. Um, and he'll be available to take questions. Once I'm finished speaking, I think uh, Courtney is going to speak to you all for a little bit and then and then we will take questions uh, at the end of that. So we're here uh, to receive our annual flu shot, uh, and Courtney and, and Langston will get the flu shots, as will Dr. Cantor and I, but Dr. Cantor and I are also gonna get our booster shots because we are both uh, eligible. We're more than six months past the second Pfizer, uh, and, and, and we're eligible, we're gonna do that uh, but I want to talk first about flu season in Louisiana. You know, getting your flu shot is incredibly important every year. It is more important during a pandemic like we're experiencing right now. Because if you go to the hospital with the flu, you are taxing the same part of our health care delivery system uh, that, that you would tax if you, in fact, had uh, COVID. Uh, and so we've had incredibly stressed hospital systems and, and really the whole healthcare delivery uh, apparatus of our state and of our country uh, for well over a year and a half now. Uh, and we don't want that to continue any more than is absolutely necessary. And we want people to be healthy. And we, we don't want people to get sick. We don't want them to go in the hospital. And we certainly don't want uh, them to die. We are seeing some uh, relief now from the fourth uh, surge, and I'm very thankful uh, for that. Our case numbers are down, the positivity is down, hospitalizations are down. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the deaths are a lagging indicator. Uh, they are starting to come down, but they're still uh, unacceptably high. Um, but we know that our current trends are going to continue. Uh, there are some mitigation measures that help with that, like wearing your mask. But the single most important thing we can do, and Ed Gardo touched on this, is get vaccinated. And for those people who are vaccinated, uh, if you uh, have uh, uh, immunodeficiency issues, you're eligible for a third shot. And if you're vaccinated with Pfizer, uh, you're eligible uh, for a booster uh, if, in fact, you are over 65 or if you are 18 and older and you have a comorbid health condition that makes you more vulnerable to the disease, or if you live or work in a setting uh, that makes you more vulnerable. And we encourage you to get your booster as soon as you can and as soon as you become eligible. Uh, just to give you some numbers, the last really bad flu season we had in Louisiana was 2017. 1,500 people across our state died from the flu that year. And that's tragic. With respect to COVID, we've had twice that many die just since the end of July. Uh, so, so both diseases are bad. Both can make you sick. Both can put you in the hospital. Both can kill you. Um, but you know what? They both transmit the same way. Uh, and so the mitigation measures you take to protect yourself against COVID also protect you against the flu. 
which is why last year with all of our heightened mitigation measures, the social distancing, the masking and so forth, we actually had a very a light flu season. Well, it's within our ability to make that happen again uh, by those same behaviors in addition to getting the flu shot. Um, the flu shot's important every year, but it is especially important this year. And flu shots are available. Uh, they'll be at, uh, I think, our, our parish health units uh, later this week and next week. But they're available at the same places that you've been getting your COVID-19 vaccines as well, uh, at, at your pharmacies and doctor's offices and so forth. And if you, for some reason, haven't yet decided to get your COVID vaccine, today is a new day. Tomorrow will be another new day, and you can make the decision to do that. Uh, it is incredibly important that you do it. Um, if you've got any questions about uh, the availability of the flu vaccine or the COVID-19 vaccine, please call 211. They will answer your questions, and they will tell you where you can go in order to get your flu shot and your COVID uh, vaccine. So I thank you all for being here. Uh, once once uh, Dr. Phillips speaks to you, we'll take a few questions. And then once, once we're past the questions, uh, you will see me get a flu shot uh, and a COVID booster. So with that, Courtney. Thank you, Governor. Uh, and thank you, Eduardo. Uh, and to the entire Baton Rouge General team, thank you all for hosting this event and kicking off the importance of getting vaccinated for the flu. Um, as the governor mentioned, we, we have made great strides in our state across COVID, but we are still not out of the wood yet. When you think about where we were in mid-August and having more than 3,000 people hospitalized due to COVID, and where we are today of having less than 640 people hospitalized, we know the efforts of our healthcare workers and healthcare entities have made tremendous strides. But again, we're still not out of the woods. We know our hospitals still struggle with staffing, um, and we want to continue to assist them in those efforts. But I think it's up to each of us to do our part as well. And being vaccinated can help us to do that, both the COVID vaccine as well as the flu vaccine. And so it, we need to take time to make sure that we're following the mitigation efforts and looking at what we can do. And again, getting vaccinated can do that. And just like the COVID vaccine, the flu vaccine not only protects yourself, but it also protects your loved ones, your family members, your community as a whole. And so today I'm here with my son Langston, um, my favorite family member, because we're going to do our part in getting vaccinated and trying to protect ourselves, each other, as well as our families and our community. I know as parents, our children are the most important things to us, keeping them healthy, keeping them safe, and keeping them in school. And by getting them vaccinated for the flu is one way that we can absolutely do this. And so today you'll see Langston and I both roll up our sleeve and get our flu vaccine. Uh, unfortunately, Langston isn't currently eligible to receive the COVID vaccine because of his age, um, but when it's time, he will do so. But right now, he is eligible to receive the flu vaccine, so he can protect himself against the influenza uh, virus. And so today he's going to do that, and he's going to encourage everybody else to do so. Again, as parents, we need to do what we can to help prevent the spread of it, especially as we're going into the holiday season this last quarter of, our, of the year. We can do this. We had a success last year. We saw a very low um, volume of flu, and it's because we did follow the mitigation efforts for COVID. We can do it again. Again, vaccination is a big part of this. I do want to thank um, Baton Rouge General and our other health care entities because of the work they've done over the last 18 months but also about us adding something else to their plate and saying now, can you guys help with the, the flu vaccine? Um, one thing that we saw great success with over the, the COVID vaccine was getting out and about into the communities. And we know Baton Rouge General is going to be doing that again and partnering with a community organization such as the YMCA. We saw great strides in this and helping to reduce health equity, our health disparities, making sure that everyone has access. We know that there are some areas in Louisiana that are health care deserts, that they're not the actual brick and mortar facilities where folks can go to receive health care. We want to make sure we're providing access. And so by doing what you all are doing and many other health care entities, we help to reduce health care disparities. And so join me, join Langston in getting your families vaccinated and helping to stop the spread. We owe this to the health care workers who have been just in the, in, the, in the trenches doing this for the last 10, 18 months. We owe this to them. So, so thank you, Governor, and I'll turn it back over to you. Oh, Langston, do you have anything that you want to add? Any thoughts on getting your flu vaccine today? Uh, yes, I'm very excited, and I can't wait to get my COVID vaccine. Thank you, Langston. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
thank you, Courtney. So if there's a few questions, we'll take those. Any? All right. Well, we're going to proceed over and get our shots. Did y'all come on my paperwork already? Yes. Yeah. Oh. 